So this is the first uh, little bit of filming we've done for a little while. Uh, for those of you who may or may not know, I've been growing something in my head for a little while. <laughs> um, wear lots of sunblock, melanoma can be a bugger. Um, and look, on that too, I'd just like to say thank you very, very much for everyone's love and concern. It really is indescribably humbling. I have no words, and I'm going to change the subject quickly now before I get weird and emotional. We thought we'd put something together. We're talking a little bit about um, making your paintings express powerfully you know, what you want to say. And one of the things I love about these coastal images is the ability, is, is the potential for putting you know layers and layers and layers you've got the water and then the leaves and the background oh, sorry and the trees and all that sort of thing so what we're investigating is ways of making that happen really really powerfully and one of the ways I like to do it is to approach um, the, the picture in layers for this particular uh, image and so I've, I've basically got my water back here I've blocked in my pandanus tree over the the, the top of it. Um, having said that though, the whole painting was painted first. So I painted the water, painted the trees, the leaves, everything, and then I've come back and refined everything over the top of it. But the water has been finished. I've put a couple of layers of impasto gel over the top of it and then re-established these leaves. When they're finished, they'll have another couple of layers of impasto gel or heavy gel gloss over the top of that and then the tree trunk will be then re-established. Again, more and more layers of um, impasto gel or heavy gloss over the top of that. And then eventually these leaves here that are in the top right-hand corner, they will be re-established and they will come forward even more. Um, I'll gently soften those trees in the background later on with a bit of a glaze to push them away. And hopefully we'll end up with an image that will create the illusion that you can fall into it. So I, I really want to um, connect the viewer with this picture and the best way I can think of to do that is to actually put them right in the trees. And so that layering process that I just discussed seems to me to be the best way to go about that. So if you want some ideas on how to put your own spin on an image, go and check out this page there.